What's up guys, Matty Ice here, back with another video. It's been a minute since I've been home, actually. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen that I went to California for like a week. Yeah, I just had to get away for a little bit, spend time with some friends, and even though I got fired, it wasn't the best decision to go out. Parents were upset, but I just had to just like take some time for myself. But we're back home. I've been working on a rug, so I got this little wheel here. I'll show you that rug later on. A lot and a little has been happening with the birds, man. <laughs> little hen but yeah like i said i haven't really been home i was gone for like a week when i went to california i was just there for like a couple days but then i got stuck on standby and then someone reached out to me for a job opportunity to shoot some real estate unfortunately it didn't go through but i did take the advantage of while i was out there there and i went to shoot this video for a dispensary i wish i got to go see the show out there it didn't go through and it's okay everything happens for a reason but i'm back home yeah i'm just taking up on the birds man so i am gonna go get the waters first got some surprises all right guys so we're gonna start off with the birds that i got newest to the yard uh, we're gonna start off with checking on them. Uh, they are gonna be game foul. And yeah, I just got them recently. The rooster is not mine. My uncle just gave it to me to breed for him. Um, but he said I could keep the hen. So I'm very excited because uh, now I got a pair of game fowl. You can see them here. Again, if y'all follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you probably saw the video of them already when they first came out the box. And yeah, he's molting quite a bit. He's a little shy girl. But yeah, they are uh, hennies, man. Tear hennies. And there they are. <laughs> These are the newest uh, addition to my to my collection, my personal collection. I was so dumb, but I hopped on a plane, almost drove right back to the 541. Shitty you turned on the freeway, you turned me from a fiend to a way to you find. I can wait in the sun for a little, but it's been real gray, and tonight it's a nice C1. I can wait in the cold for a while, if the reasons are plenty. I guess we could just make our way to like our biggest birds to our smallest birds. Again, I'm only really focusing on the birds that I own personally. My dad owns a shit ton, and I don't really know much about game fowl. Slowly learning. I really enjoy the bantams myself. Uh, just because they're just smaller. It's just to ban some, bro. It's cool. But yeah, since we were looking at our game foul, I got a Bama Sport Decox Roundhead over a Sumatra hen. I got four eggs from her. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see how that comes out. This is just a little project I got going on. Again, this is a game foul over a Sumatra hen. Yeah, he's about a year old. He's like, he's pretty old already. He's ready to perform, so. But yeah, since we were looking at game foul, yeah, just a little project I got going on. Um, He's very small. They're literally a Bantam size. For game foul. Yeah, just a, again, this is just a little project I got going on. But yeah, I put that little stick right there because she's a little short, so she can't really um, reach the food like he can. Because he's, again, he's a regular game foul size. She's like a bantam size. But yeah, over here we have like some more birds. Some birds that we have like for like up for discussion and stuff. Not too much. And I got my BB red rooster over here. So I separated him from her over here. Now she's actually like sitting on the eggs and shit. Wow. I don't really want to bother her because she's laying in there. I don't want her to come out. But yeah, I separated him from her because he's just a horny bastard. Just kept bothering her. And didn't give her time to sit down. Um, But now she's like doing her thing. So I'm going to leave her the fuck alone. Oh, she's just coming out now. In here, I just got a BB Red with uh, my silver duckling. Uh, She's a little young too. I got her with the other hand. I think they're all sisters. I got three hands like that. Um, And he's like a two-year-old or one-and-a-half-year-old cock. Uh, silver duckling over in this game. He's really nice. I like him a lot. He has a good personality. These birds all got personality. Personalities, man. Especially when you spend time with them. You could definitely see um, their personality shine. Like this guy in my black old English game. I can't even really open this. He'll probably jump out and try to fight me. Protect his lady. But yeah, this guy. Um, And he's just protecting his lady. He's a pure old English game for you guys who are not new. To, or for you guys who are new to the channel. He's the first old English game I got. Because he's badass. I really like him. Fucking look at that tail. Jeez. My cute hand that I had my first hat this year. Sitting on eggs again. I have her with him. And I actually had the silver ducking with her for a while when I went to LA. I actually had my brother move him in. So I haven't really been tracking the egg. I'll kind of know when they hatch and they grow. I'll know who's who. Ooh. Alright, and then I don't want to bother my... I don't want to bother these guys, but this is blue. Uh, old English game. Kikiriki make with a spangled, blue spangled uh, old English game in there. Yeah, I don't want to bother because she's sitting on the eggs and I think she's almost ready to sit. It's about that time, that's why. So I'm gonna leave them the hell alone. And then I got... And then I just got some moderns over here. Brown, red with a black hen. I just... Yeah. Just some moderns, man. I don't... I don't know if I want to keep them or not, honestly. My dad keeps telling me to keep them. People like them, but I'd rather switch them out for something else, you know what I mean? Honestly. I do like them, though. Don't get me wrong. I like all birds, you know what I mean? I just, I'm very limited on space, so I just, uh, you gotta make sacrifices sometimes. Come for a while, if the reasons are plenty, but right now I see none. We fixed, we broke, it's a nice thought. Find a place to get out was a good spot. And we know that we sat through the bumps in the road. It's a car and a ride when the wood rots. When an end of my sentence, a full stop. Thinking I could put time on a shot clock. An example of reap what you sowing, but you so impatient. Blame me for the bad crowd. Uh, I know. I know that you gon' feel it anyway. I 
But you act like you don't feel a single thing on any day I was so dumb, but I hopped on a plane and almost drove right back to the park over here. This is the surprise, the main event. Oh, yeah. Four, five, six. six. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I gotta see this. Shit. Wow, she did awesome. What an awesome mom. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm actually gonna take them out and have them just on the ground with their mama. And then I gotta get some food in here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very excited. I'm trying to film and I'm trying to. Oh my god. All black. Six, baby. Good mama. Good mama. Put right, some of this hay. Put some of this hay on the ground over there. So if you want it at night, you could use it to keep it warm. She'll do her thing. Wow. Great fucking mom, dude. Look, she's not even pecking me, nothing. But I've been good to her since she's been here. She's been really nice. Wow. That shit makes me so fucking happy, dog. I gotta take this shit out, though. Oh, this shit and eggs. That enough. Yeah, got these guys situated. Got their food here. Got their water here. Put a little platform so that the chicks could reach the water because they're kind of short, you know what I'm saying? And she got it from here. Do your thing, honey. Doing her thing. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. That's our newest hatch, and these are our first hatch that we had this year. We're about to check on. The dark one's gonna be one from the incubator, and then the two kikurikis behind. Those are the first kikurikis again. That white hen is the mom. Probably grab them here in a second and get some shots. I just gotta, but I gotta just water all the birds and give them some fresh water because it's getting that time of year where it's getting hot in Texas. So I'm about to do that real fast before my dad gets home. I'm very happy, and I'm just, I'm just excited, man. Breathe. Breathe for me, patiently waiting for day to see everything. I've been doing and making me better and better and worse for the better. It's not always up when I'm down in the gutters, and that's where the rain goes and rain makes the flowers. The darkest of days and the strongest of powers. You're straight from the future, I thought that was ours, but I'm just a place on a proxy, you coward. All right, guys, we got a storm, and I'm just gonna put uh, our band on it. All you do is put it in like a uh, like a bracelet, really. Right there inside. Use a macro lens. And there you go. Tag. That's what you call a tag. There's like four doors on this fucking cage. It's like extremely modified. There you go. Yo, thanks, shorty. But yeah, guys, I haven't been really filming anything for the past like week or two. Just because I've been working on other things like that thing behind me. I'll show you that right now. Yeah, it's just a rug that I hand tufted myself. Bottom or the back. And this would be the front. I still got to finish up. I got to pluck out all the pieces that don't belong there. And, uh, give this thing a little haircut or a trim. And it's done. But uh, yeah, made this bad boy. And if you guys want so they may hit me up on uh, Instagram at MaddieXScience. Yeah, I was gonna do a video on it, but um, I had lost my job, so it kind of just put me like in a weird spot. Um, and I've just been trying to like just knock it out and really work and focus on just making the rug. You know what I mean? Try my best in everything I do. So it's kind of hard to try your best if you're doing two things at once. You know? Got a little rooster out here keeping me company because my room's like right there. I'm about to go edit some videos and shit like that. But yeah, don't mind the mess, guys. Just got done editing that video. Oh shit, I got a fucking banana in my pocket. <laughs> I put it there to eat, but I was just like in the zone editing. I'll probably eat it later. I don't think I was playing. Look. <laughs> My BB Red just thought I'd bring him out, let him eat some grass. It just keeps me kind of grounded. As I'm editing, I got a little bird there just to keep me, I don't know, grounded, bruh. That's all I can say. That's the only word I could think of right now. But yeah, let's go check up on the birds. I do gotta take a quick shit first. I'm just so excited. I'm so happy that they hatch, man. Damn, I'm about to miss like the perfect time to take videos and shit. So we gotta get this guy. Come on, dude. Boom. Let's go, dude. We're gonna get- Dude, stop. Stop, dude. Shit. Oh, yeah. That's the best stance. You see that stance, guys? The chicken's down. This is the best stance to catch him, okay? As far as you can, and then arms wide. And then you just close in on him. That's the best- That's the best way to get him. Oh, I might look stupid. It's proven. Oh, shit. Gotta watch out for Talos. He eat this motherfucker. Yo, and we got a fucking goat now. I don't know if I mentioned him in an earlier video. We got a goat. His name is Billy. Billy the, the goat. He's like shy, but. Videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday.